Sup shitters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to an SP Patrons video today that I'm making for Alan Sun as part of their custom monthly music review. And if we switch over to here we have ourselves a track on the screen. Now apparently this track is Rice Store by Wei Wei Zhang. Now Spotify is telling me that this is the this is the song here, which I understand matches that. However, the symbols on the names of the people are not matching the symbols provided here. So I'm gonna go with what Spotify is telling me that this track is, and I'm gonna play it, and we're gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna listen through it from start to finish, and we're gonna hear what we think. We obviously have lyrics kindly like provided by Alan to check through after the, the listen, so yeah, let's go. There you go, you guys can listen through lyrics, or read through them. Great tone to the steel string guitar there. Oh, warm tone to those triads, dude. <laughs> I love how it resolves. What I like about it is that with these triads that you have, you not only have warm triplet flow with the finger style, but it's also you have the occasional vrunt of the strings on the side, but also a little bit of trepidation in the unusual intervals expressed within some of those chords going into the major major at the end. It's a wonderful way to loop it. Very satisfying. Ooh, a little bit of riffing on top there in that mid range. Nice. It's 
just a great way to end it. It's so soothing just having them harmonize with each other on top of the constant motif you have with those guitars. Even without knowing the story or understanding the language, it's very comforting to listen to. I firmly believe it's a shame we didn't explore more of those strings on the side there are accenting every third note of the triplets, but every fourth note of the triplets, should I say, forming a polyrhythm. But it's still nonetheless pleasant to listen to, you know? Ah, it's a live performance. <laughs> Charming. So what I will note before we go further into this lyric section is that there was not only Wei Wei Zhang, there was also Xiao Hei in here. So I assume that they were the two musicians who were performing within this. So I think that's charming. I think that's fantastic. But in regards to what was going on with the lyrics, I'm going to make this bigger just to see if I can, I don't want to overdo the artwork. So then the artwork is very pretty with the birds. We've got swaying amidst the misty southern rain in March. You sit alone in your empty rice shop, holding in one hand an apple, the other hand your destiny. Oh, okay. Your dance moves across the empty room. Time became vaporized. Is that because we became lost in the flow of dancing that that, that opportunity amassed within us and we were able to simply enjoy life for a second without being on the precipice of two different destinies? My love, can you feel that tomorrow is coming? Our boats are parked on the pier. I will wash my hair and climb up the mast to hold off our home soft like vines. Beautiful. I really do hope that this is the right song because if it isn't, I'm going to feel really silly, you know? And welcome to the conclusion of my review of this track from Wei Wei Zhang with Zhao Hei titled Rice Store. Now, what do I think this track is about? After reading through the lyrics, I firmly believe that this track is representing a situation where we have someone who is looking at this person and they are in that rice shop and the apple is what they currently have, the goodness of their current life. The other is whatever they could be able to accomplish if they walked away from their comfort zone, their place they are in, wanting to know. And I think that the person who is telling the story is wanting to inquire as to whether or not they would actually be able to make that leap of faith. I will wash my hair and climb up the mast to hold up our home soft light vines. Exactly. You know, that ship that is potentially going to sail with or without that person. Their boats are parked on the pier. What the person is saying is you can only dance so long until you get to a point where you realize that you have to make a choice. That's basically what the song is about. Watching someone make the choice, however difficult it may be, to, for whatever life they want to have talking about dreams and ambitions, etc. It's very deep stuff. I think that it's a beautiful thing to write a song about. I think that the way we sung it was tremendous because it sounded so caring and soothing with the melody that was kind and gentle with its major and minor tonalities and short note choices without there being any unnecessary harshness with the intervals or dances made or steps or routes that were inferred within it we never tried to have any edge to it it was always so soothing and it was almost like it was caressing our eardrums even when i suppose we had the harmonies come in from xiao hei later on they were major intervals as i understand it they were really beautiful groupings of notes that came together to really soothe things and make them gentle and loving and I firmly believe that was the right choice. We not only had great vocal technique and were comfortable within our ranges there, we understood the power of our repeating melodies and getting them stuck in the listener's head, but also of exploring our ranges in a way where we contrasted with one another in those harmonized sections with some doing the vocal runs and others telling the story. And I think ultimately it was a very pleasurable experience because of the way that the performance seemed to mirror the emotional response of what was to be expected from a track like this. I could understand how the two came together. The singers really seemed to care about what they were singing about. 
I think in addition to the vocal performance being top notch and a live situation and the story carrying well and having a great maturity and depth to it, we also had a track which at five minutes 30, you know, five minutes oh four should I say, it's long, it's a long track, but I think that they made great use of that time. It was very minimalist with the instrument choices. It had guitars, vocals, and a very occasional strings. But I think it was more or less meant to be a dreamy sound, like an atmosphere for which to tell the story on. It wasn't meant to be super arousing or anything like that. It wasn't meant to be ex energetic and super charismatic and in your face meant to blow your socks off. It was meant to kind of represent the situation the person was in in that incubation stage of their life as to whether or not they were going to leave and become a butterfly or stay there forever and then the other person sail off without them and i think that the triplets like the waltz you know that was kind of that waltz rhythm there was great it's almost like the slow dance with life and the things in both hands almost like the person telling the story wanted the person in the rice shop to take their hand as they went away in their own separate destinies or together or, or apart. So with that constant theme there rolling between increasingly predictable bass lines and chords sequences, you, you could just focus on that. And if we had the strings come on on every fourth note as sort of a polyrhythm to shake things up to have an interesting accent and unpre a sense of oh this isn't something we've had before oh it's taking us out of that lull and then we would have more story and then of course we had Zhao Hei later on come in for a bit of extra development there as we went along because I think we even though we had a great idea for the way the accompaniment should sound we need to have extra things occur as we go along to continue to retain attention especially as five minutes is a long song especially as a first impression and as a first track off of this this album it's important for that to slap it needs to be really good so they nailed it i think it was a really pretty way to start proceedings the theme itself with the waltz parts on the guitar with the vocals the way they were on top with the story that we had here i think that it was wonderful it was pretty it was patient and it was decorative it was trying to emote more of the story that the singer was trying to tell in a way that was respectful to the person who was needing to hear it and ultimately it led us into the world that the person in the rice shop was in and it sounded incredibly adorable it was almost like the song was trying to mirror the golden opportunity that they had together in the hope that it would work out positively in the end and it was invigorating i think with everything like that out of the way you simply have the situation with the recording mixing and mastering where for a live performance it was incredibly solid they sounded like they were totally in control of the stage fantastic presence there they were being listened to and intently by the audience there the vocals sounded nice and crisp and clear you could defined the different singers there easily in the mix they had different vocal ranges but they were also filtered and eq'd very well the guitars were nicely placed they're not fully in the center you know a little bit off as to mirror the actual performance itself and in, in the in this, the venue they were at i think additional to that you had a an environment there with the post processing where basically the guitar sounded nice and they sounded reasonably raw with like a little bit of reverb though it made it seem a little more believable right the strings to the far side the different guitars complementing each other nicely in the stereo field with the first guitar being more on the left and the other guitar coming on the right later on to accent certain parts of the uh, harmony and finger picked parts that the initial guitar was doing things were nicely glued together in the mix the leveling was solid there was dynamic range to this things weren't the same loudness the entire time things went up and down and that made it more exciting because if everything's the same loudness it's kind of becomes predictable and you can lose focus right i mean finally the it was nice and loud without pumping within reason of course it wasn't meant to be bass boosted but it sounded like the limiting and bus compression was handled and this is effectively my review of this track from, if I am not incorrect, Wei Wei Zhang, Tuttle Rice Store featuring Zhao Hei. And hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please go show them some love via the various social medias and their Spotify page. And stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As either hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I will catch you all in the next SC Patrons video. Spider Hands out. Oh.